Welcome back to Empress Radio. The live will be starting soon. All right, we're live. Hey, everyone. Well, this is a pre-recorded video, but I wanted to come and review and do a reaction to Carlos King's Messy Mondays podcast. Well, I guess he calls himself Mr. Monday Night now, if you guys look. um, uh, Oh, you can't see it, but at the banner, it's Mr. Monday Night. I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> um, So I want to talk about how Carlos King was saying he has a new African Bay. Uh, for a while, he was denying that they broke up him and his past African Bay, And, and he, just the fact that he just calls him that like African is so like degrading and like can you not be in public with him like you know um but yeah so I was always always wondering about that but he revealed that he and um the other African Bay broke up he met this new guy right so I guess he goes out he like telling all his business too I'm like you're Carlos King you don't have to do all this but he goes out on the town with um this guy and they go to a cabaret and the guy was so embarrassed to be around Carlos King because um allegedly I was like why did you tell this story but um he talks about how people wanted to like it was a bunch of black women swarming him and wanted to take pictures with him and he didn't tell the guy beforehand what he did for a living and he said the guy left like next thing you know he like left him and he had to like explain to him in valet or whatever and then he tried to like play it off like you know he came back or whatever but I'm like he left you <laughs> um but yeah so all he had to do was like google Carlos King really quick and it's a bunch of stuff that comes up you know um like I just looked on the news and you see like um Real Housewives of Potomac star Monique Samuels has a blame problem she accuses Carlos King of painting her as a villain on his own reality tv um things we learned about uh Lisa Ray interview look it's just stuff about wanting to beat you know um Nicole Murphy and things and I was like if that's a guy who's like a high value man or whatever allegedly uh maybe he doesn't want to be involved with like the messiness you know um because he said even Carlos King said the guy said he doesn't want any parts of it he doesn't want to be filmed nothing like that um so how Carlos King ascended to reality show royalty and brought Detroit with him, which is not like a bad um, uh, article there. But Monique Samuels seemingly accuses Carlos King of manipulating her into joining Love and Marriage DC by playing the black card. That's not a good look. Um, did Melody Rogers fans cause Dr. Heavenly to end Messy Mondays with Carlos King? Just like bad press, you know, um, just things like that. Uh, Melody Sheree Rogers shades Carlos King. Here's what she said about toxic leadership. And this is just like the second page, you know. So all he has to do is just, you know, Carlos King wants more black reality shows. Um, Dr. Heavenly on why she left Messy Mondays with Carlos King. Um, Carlos King tries to coax Tamar Braxton to reveal all. Just, you know, so... Uh, they're not necessarily all positive. Um, uh, Carlos King reveals why he left the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Left or got fired, allegedly. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyways, um, Dr. Heavenly gets messy with Carlos King, you know. So anyway, so like I said, Carlos King talks a lot about the guy just like leaving him. Um, and then, so obviously I'm not in the sector of Love and Marriage Huntsville, but it's kind of like, I can't just not talk about the episode because Carlos King is talking about it with Kimmy and um, Let Letitia from Bell Collective. So obviously they're going to be here. So I was like, I'm not going to just brush off of it, you know. So we're going to get into the whole thing. So um, I'm going to put my page on reaction mode. So if you guys see, I have a new um, setup for my reaction videos and we are going to react to Carlos King's interview. So this is what he had to say here. Okay. So if you're new to Monday Night Live, let me tell you what we do. 
So before we even start, he doesn't normally do this. He just wanted to vent. Like sometimes he'll talk about his life, whatever. Usually he's a little bit more like he doesn't talk too much about it, you know. But now he's telling all his business because I think he felt bad and a little bit embarrassed about because he's like asking them, like, what do you think about what happened? Like, are we your friends? Why are you venting to us, to us you know? We talk about our weekends first and then we get into the show and we have a real conversation. So... Some of you guys may know that, you know, it's the holiday season. And when it's the holiday season, you go and you go outside and you have fun and all that. So Carlos King is single now. So that's why he's talking about outside. You know, he's outside, he's dating, you know, and he calls the guy his suitor. I was like, suitor. Those things. So um, I had a great weekend. I went out. I wasn't alone. <laughs> and the way he acts, like if roles were reversed and I was like dating someone that I guess I would say a man, but it's it's different, you know. But if a man, if I was a man and I was dating a woman or a man, you know, I don't know how to say it, but that's all like just doing the most, all extra. Like, look how he has to laugh. Like Carlos chill out sometimes, you know. I see why the guy left. <laughs> Um, so I went out and, um, <laughs> why am I blushing? So I went out this weekend and I had a great time. You see how he posted, you got a new African. <laughs> um, I had a really good time and Y'all want to hear a funny story? I'm going to tell y'all this funny story, and then I'm going to, like, bring my guest on. So I went outside this weekend, and I had a great time. I went out to this cabaret show, okay? <clears throat> Martine's at college. You seem happy. <laughs> I'm always happy, right? Okay. Thank you, Bless Beyond Measure. Okay, so Brain Josh, come here. I'm gonna go tell y'all this and then don't ask me no questions and then we're gonna move on, okay? I'm gonna go tell y'all this story. I'm gonna say it once and I'm not ever gonna repeat it, okay? So I went out this weekend with a suitor, okay? Um, <laughs> and we went out and we had a great time. We went to a show, it was a live show. And it was, it was packed. It was a packed show. It was a live show. It was, it was packed. And um, this person doesn't watch reality television. Okay, so follow me someplace. Um, and I'm the king of reality television. But this person doesn't watch reality television. Okay. So long story short, I go to this amazing show. And we're... The show was amazing. It was performances. It was a host. It was the MC. It was a whole thing, right? And at the end, the host comes up to the to my table, and she goes, "Are you Carlos King?" I swear, when he meets these raindrops in real life, he he acts like he's just like so big and so famous. I mean, he does. I would know who he is if I was out. So I guess. And I said, "Uh huh." Can I get a picture with you? So then this person said, "You know her?" I said, "Mm mm." She knows you. I said. <laughs> First of all, it was not Jocelyn's Cabaret. But anyway. He's like, yeah, I'm kind of famous for being one of the messiest producers of all time. <laughs> I never had the conversation. So I go out to take the photo. And when I go out, there's some black women. Because <laughs> one thing about me, I know my audience. Okay. So. It was seven black women. One of them was celebrating their birthday. So I go out to take the picture with the lady who was hosting the cabaret. And when I go out to the common area, it was seven black women. 
And I said, okay. And they go, Cold King, oh my God, it's my birthday. I'm a rage, it's my birthday. And then it's like, are you embarrassed to meet your fans? Like, what's the problem here? I'm like, okay, girl, can I get a picture? I'm like, mm-hmm. Come here, baby. Because I never say no. And I won't ever say no. So just so you know, I won't ever say no. So I said, come here, girl. So we take pictures. I turn around. The dude is gone. Gone. You heard that? He left. He left. Gone. And I'm like, so I'm taking pictures like. You see that where he posted, did he run for the hills, LOL? <laughs> yep. And I'm like, oh God, this is so bad. So I saw them in the corner. But I'm like, what's the problem? Like, you know, did he just say that he's not a celebrity or, you know, celebrity adjacent? Like, what is the problem here? Like, what was the guy so offended by, you know? <laughs> Looking dazed and confused, child. So anyways, I did embarrassingly go to valet. <laughs> See, the guy was in valet. As there was an awkward silence, buddy. So then we had the conversation and I was like, oh. 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 so the thing is this, and I want, I, I can't wait to ask Leticia and Kimmy this, even and Dustin too. The thing is this, I am not sure how to tell somebody what I do for a living if they don't know. Because I don't want to come across pretentious. Like, do you know who I am? Like, I think that's a pretentious question to ask somebody that you're getting to know, right? I mean, not really. All he had to do is say, I'm Carlos King and I'm a <laughs> reality TV pr producer, you know, slash interviewer, slash YouTuber, wherever he wants to call it. So I, I, don't, I don't have the conversation. I don't, I just don't. Peace and love. No, <laughs> I would never say that. I would never say that. So I never had the conversation, right? In the beginning, because I feel like if you know, you know. And they knew what I did, but I don't think they knew the degree. That even sounds, whatever, let me just cook. One of the messiest producers on TV. <laughs> I don't think they knew the degree of it. Because one thing to know, but it's another when you see like people like, gravitate towards you right so it was very interesting so i had the conversation because i am the gay marceau justin smollett what does that even mean the gay marceau it's the gay tupac and i am the gay marceau okay <laughs> so there you go so me being the gay marceau um I, I'm not interested in, you know, I'm like Marcel, I don't want to be a power couple. Meaning, meaning, meaning like, like, like out, out, out there. On the red carpet, posing and kissing for the camp. I want none of that public sh stuff. Okay, I want none of it. So, we had the conversation and I said to them, this is what I do for a living. These are my loves. They're called the raindrops. Sometimes when you see me, they may approach me and I will definitely ignore you to talk to them. <laughs> I will act like you don't exist. When my raindrops speak to me, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to ignore you, but don't take it personally. So we had the conversation. And in the end, he did say, um, he said, look, the way I see these women respond to you means you're doing something great. And 
I'm mad at it. So why would he leave if they were having a good response to him? Unless he just is someone that doesn't want to be in the public eye for whatever the reason. That's you. That's what you do. You're, you're clearly doing something great for these women to respond to you in this case, in the way they do it. And I think that's dope. Like, and that's you. You're clearly, you know, you're doing something right. Just so you know, I want no parts of it. I, I, I don't want no pictures taken of me. I want, I want nothing. You hear that? That's so embarrassing. Why is he repeating it? None of this. And then I said, cha-ching! <laughs> and I don't get what cha-ching about that. <laughs> so! I really think this is an embarrassing story that you shouldn't have told. <laughs> that happened. So I will say this. I will say this. I'm going to break on my guess. I will say this. I will say this. I will say this. Um, my raindrops. One thing I love about y'all, y'all don't tell any of my business when y'all see me in public with people. So I thank those beautiful raindrops I saw this weekend. Thank you for not spilling my business and keeping it our little secret. Okay. <laughs> So, and happy birthday to the beautiful young woman. And if you are, I'm going to do a shout out. I'm going to do that because, uh, never mind. So, the thing, Shayla said, call the father of Keisha. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what happens, child. Um, more to come. All right. So, thank you guys for joining in. So next up, <laughs> okay, so next up, we're going to move on to the explosive episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville and Bell Collective. So one thing that I love is the fact that you guys get to see, or did he find his, mar his Marjorie? Okay, so I'm gonna say this and y'all listen. Is that my Savannah James? So I'm going to say this and promise me you won't repeat this. We'll see. Anyway, so up next we have <laughs> the beautiful women of these shows. Uh, First is the OG of the number one show on the Oprah Winfrey Network. She is part of the original six. She is the one who checks me all the time, and I low key am scared of her. The one, <laughs> the only, Kimmy. <laughs> you are not scared. <laughs> Pray, Kimmy. <laughs> You're not scared a little of me. Um, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you look beautiful. How's it going? It's going amazing, but I'm blessed beyond measure. I'm going you, doing very, very well. You look very, very well. Happy holidays. And I can't wait to talk to you about Bell Collective and the recent episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville. So up next, we also have an OG. She is the Kyle Richards of Bell Collecta. And what that means is she is Jackson, okay? She is the one who got these girls together. She's the one who really, really genuinely has the best intentions at getting the Bells collected. Give it up for Leticia Pearson. <laughs> Hi there. Hey, Cammie. Hey, Carlos. Listen. Hey, beautiful. You look good. You outside. Okay. Outside. You outside. Yes. So I forgot to say. Um, so now he brings on Kimmy and Leticia. Okay. You heard my story. Yeah, you outside, outside. Yeah, I was I was tuned in, okay? You all the way outside. Mm -hmm. What do you what do y'all think about this story before I bring on Dustin? About who? You see how he's like fishing for advice? 
about my That's story what happened my weekend i mean my thing is i hate he left you carlos but, <laughs> i mean we <laughs> live in a right like who does that i don't even like the guy days now like google i mean come on carlos you sitting here in a row you giving money he know you somebody, and I know you, honey. You've been outside, outside. You on the internet. You are all out here trying to take Beyonce's spot. So he <laughs> I feel like if he was embarrassed, then he's not the guy for you, you know? <laughs> have been out here Googling you. He knew you was somebody. So, I mean. If he didn't Google you before, he Googled you now. Oh, yeah. Well, no, no, right, right. I think he Googled him while he was doing the pictures and was like, I'm leaving. You know, you know. Is Carlos King his real name? The sad part is he could be watching this episode. That's not like, let me not give him another chance, honey. He got the robe on. Oh, oh. If he's watching the episode, he's definitely not talking to you anymore. <laughs> oh, without telling too much. He came he back. He didn't he leave forever. Tip. Oh, he in the tip. He didn't leave like, forever. He just left for a month. So, Carlos, did you let the guy after he yeah. left you come back and smash after? Oh, man. He oh, came yeah. back. <laughs> you took it. You took it. Rest of that well, you know, honey, when you're dealing with an African child, you got to make sure that. um, It's another African? <laughs> That's what, give me. I'm, give me. I didn't want to say that. Oh. Oopsie. <laughs> Was I not supposed to say it's that? He loves his Africans. <laughs> it's a tie. It is a tie. It is a tie. Uh, why is it? No, listen, listen, listen. Brandy Harden said, oh, he already seen the robe. Mind your business. So the only thing I will say is um, it's another African. But my thing is, did you really let him smash after he left you? <laughs> you got a type, I ain't mad. That's a type, yeah. I ain't mad. You like what you like. I mean. He looks like Glenn. I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, Carlos, you know what? I'm just, Carlos, listen. Are you one in the DM? You in the DMs too, Carlos? <laughs> what if I see my EP with the eye? I'll be like, yeah, damn. I can't win for losing. I don't know. No. You want to hear a funny story? This is funny. Girl out here fighting. I'm, I'm saying too much. And I'm, I'm embarrassed. And oh my God, I can't do this. So look, I, I'm going to be honest. He doesn't look like Glenn. You see, he admitted to being embarrassed. Because that's embarrassing. Why are you even telling us this story? I would have just not said it. <laughs> but he does look like Damon, Tamara's person. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, he got that butter love. It's that butter love for me, baby. Man, he's smiling and grinning and blushing. Oh, yeah, he's blushing. He outside, outside. Uh -huh. okay. We see you. It yeah. ain't nothing like fresh new love. It's nothing like it. Get you what bubbly. The LR already, Kimberly. Oh, no. I, okay. So fresh new like. I'm okay with that. Give it that like. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm okay with that because uh -huh. it gets you bubbly. It gets you bubbly and giggly. Yeah, you're smiling. I'm glad uh -huh. you're happy. Carlos, like close it. your mouth. We you so <laughs> I mean, we happy he for came. you. Like Look, this his little happening. cheeks are hurting. I right love here. to see it. I love to see it. I love on anybody. On anybody, Kimmy. On on anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm here for that. Okay, so I guess this will be this will dispel all the rumors y'all made last week that me and Dustin Ross are dating. So it wasn't necessarily rumors, but y'all were flirting, so. Oh, give it up for my friend. <laughs> this is when he brings Dustin in. <laughs> Tonight's episode's about to be lit. Um, y'all know who he is. Break him up, Dustin Ross, my alleged boyfriend. Go ahead. Yo, look, look. Hey, baby. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> well, we had so much fun this weekend, Dustin. Thank you for yeah, look. Yep, thank you for turning me up at the show this weekend. But listen, friend, first of all, hello, beautiful ladies. Hello. I think Dustin Ross is a very attractive man and he's well spoken. Um, I couldn't do the whole, you know, he likes both. I, you know, I couldn't do it, but he's a he's an attractive man. Kimmy, hello, Leticia. You okay. both look beautiful tonight. This is how you gotta tell people what you do, Los. You tell them that you own your own company, right? And then when they ask the nosy ass question, 